Hey YouTube. So basically I have a VW whose boot bonnet will not open. So it's just broke. Okay. And from reading from the forums, there is a two-part cable. And so this connects on your boot opener. Other people suggest to go through the front, through the grill, to smash it and take the, this out. But this is a uh, Mark 8, so this is a 2017 model. And this has radar in front here. Uh, you really don't want to mess with that. Um, so the other suggestion to get the bonnet open is to go through the wheel well. So I'll show you in a minute. This is the connector, which connects the two parts together. Now, quite commonly, this uh, cable sits in this plastic fitting that connects the two. And uh, if you're using grease, you know, far it gets tight to open, that part fractures. Uh, I don't know why it's designed that way. It's uh, pretty rubbish. You can see this is roughly the length and the orientation. So we're expecting to find this part just under behind this light. So you're gonna need to take the wheel off and uh, use a use a, um, a Torx 25 bit to take the shroud, okay? And so make sure you're properly supported with jack stands. And uh, basically once you've taken the shroud off, you can see behind the light fixture here. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a torch, but where the tip of my finger is located, it is right about here. Now, there are two clips. There are two clips on the back of this. So you should be able to push that out and hopefully get access to the internal components of this and pull with some sort of device and that will help you release the boot. And once you've got the boot open, you'll then be able to replace the part. And uh, yeah, I hope that helps. Right, so the difficult bit is actually getting something around that piece that's broken off. So what I would recommend is just getting some sort of uh, galvanized garden wire because that's the best way that you're gonna be able to wrap it around here and make a uh, something that you can pull with so finally open and uh, you'll be able to see the problem so trying to pull that with a tool is very difficult and the plastic piece here, that socket is shattered. Let me just show you the new, the new one that I'm replacing it with. So that's the socket that that ball fits in and that's the shattered one. Uh, where is the piece that connects? Oh, here it is. Yeah, that's the ball that goes into it. So, now I've got that open, uh, I can fix it. So, it's getting dark now, but this piece needs to slide out. And also I've removed some sort of electrical cable because once you take all of this front panel off, uh, it's in like that with two bolts that connect this. And once that's out, you can wriggle it free. Uh, and then there's a plastic bit, which is, you can remove by pushing that in here. And then that'll give you some freedom to push the mechanism and get it off this latch hook. Now, that's what's left. And before pulling it through, I am gonna attach it to some wire so that helps me pull the next replacement part through. I'll make it easier to set up. Sorry for the bad light, but to get that cable out, there are two clips here that the cable sits in, so you won't really be able to move it unless you get a screwdriver and pop 
those upwards and when you reinstall it you can just push them back down that's just located above the radiator